Welcome back, Vinyl Community. Classic Jam back again. Another segment of Vinyl Records. Purchases are made through eBay and Discogs. Plus, some of those music discoveries. You know, those records we've been looking for for many, many years. Never knew the artist or title. And thanks to you on YouTube for posting those videos and other various music websites for helping us along the way. But let's get started with the show. The first one I purchased through eBay, Public Relation. This is 88. ZYX Records, it's a German import. This is one of my favorite new beat songs of all time right here. I had to wait a little while for the price to go down so I was able to purchase this. So, really good one, I enjoy it, love to mix it. Recommend, 88, Public Relation. This is a actually unclear holocaust. This is the future's nuclear holocaust. This is actually the instrumental version. This is on Metro Mix, Sonic Grooves. The uh, future on Mirage is very, very expensive. So my alternative route was to get this one. I like uh, instrumental electro songs, so I didn't mind getting this one. I heard it on YouTube and fell in love with it. The other side is Play at Your Own Risk. This is actually the uh, the original mix on there. So get this one. This came out of uh, St. Louis, Missouri. So it's an unofficial release, a good one to have. Breakbeat Electro. This is DJ Baby Ann, Abercrombie. This is off of Zone. This is actually Zone 11. This came out right after the uh, Low Down Good Girl and the Disco Call from DJ Icy. Really good. Got uh, Fixing in the Mix by Pretty Tony mixing here. Some, some good scratching and some good electro. So, Abercrombie. Been waiting a long time to get that one. This is a two record set right here. This is Club Culture. The one we want to direct our attention is Pananaro's Wild Style Groove. Really good one. I think this one came out in 94. And also Pananaro had another one called the EP. It came out in 93. It's a little bit different version. But this one's a lot better. Another one we'll pay tribute on this one is Calm Down by Chris and James. That's a really good one there too. So. Club culture. I had to actually get it from the UK. They didn't have any pressings in the United States. Okay, for those music discoveries, those records I've been looking for for many, many years, and this is one of them. I was looking for Celebrate the Nun. This is called Patience. It's actually, this is synth pop music. It came out in 91. And this came out on West Side. There it is right there, my friends. This is the original mix, and the best mix on here is the Don Brown Hyperspace Mix. Good synth pop music, 91. A little pricey. Really, really good mixing, too. It's about 126 beats per minute. Another discovery, I think back in 98, 99, I had a CD, uh, GHB. Track number four, I thought it was called Can't Go Back. And I went to a friend of mine's house, Pyro King 33 and said, no, it's... Is damaged by Plummet right there. This is the Johnny Cage's 12 inch breakbeat mix. And on the other side, we got the Forest Transcentral mix. That's really, really good trance mix right there. So, recommend this one. Okay, years ago, I, I posted a, a, a sound clip of a song I was looking for. And a guy was uh, nice enough to uh, relay the, uh, the track and the artist to me. And it was this one right here. This is GT Take My Hand. This is off of Bianca. Really good freestyle. This is uh, produced by GT and Toga. Really love this song. Came out in 1990. They also had I Need You. Back in 88, you used to have this mixed tape, and I was looking for this song for a long time. The MH Band. This is Popcorn. This is off of Touch. I think it came out in 88 or 87, and it's actually a U.S. pressing. And uh, I think back in the 70s, I had one called Hot Butter, called Popcorn. So it has the uh, the Redenbacher mix and the Butter mix right here. That's about 126 beats per minute. Good mixing too right there. I used to have another one called DJ Sasquatch. It was a CD. And it had this song on there. It had some good electro. It had some scratching in there. The beats were phenomenal. And I finally found what it was. It was actually Lynn. And it's Man of the Year. See it right there? And this song came out in 99. Good electro. It's 132 beats per minute. Love the mix. It got Bismarck key in the back. 
Some really good scratching, some rapping. Really good stuff right there. Lynn, feeling all right on side A and on side B is man of the year. Good one to have. Okay, synth pop, a rare one indeed, and I got this from uh, Mississippi uh, before the hurricane hit, and I was able to pick up this one right here. This is Axe Audrey, this is you, I'll see you in my dreams. I had a friend of mine, he always said the name of the song was Dreams, that's why I could never ever found it. So when uh, Frostwire, Limewire, and all that came out, and uh, I punched it up, and I came out with Axe Audrey, you, I'll see you in my dreams, this is the Beauty and Beast mix. Beautiful cover, phenomenal song, love the beats in there, must have. Here's a good breakbeat song right here. This is Runaway Love. Never knew what the, the artist was of this song. It was actually Zylon. There it is right there. That's what it looks like. Zylon, this is Runaway Love. Really, really good breakbeat music. If you ever see this cover in the music store, you better grab it fast. That's a good one. Back in the day, I used to go to the club and they had a song called The Mission. Really liked this song. This is uh, MC Herc. This is Listen to the Mission. This is off of Bianca Records. This is also produced by uh, Toga. Really good song right there. Another tape I had in the past, The Hunger Shock. This is the one, uh, it is written, hallelujah, shock. I used to thought it was called sauce. So I went to a music store and I seen it. And this one actually came out in 1989. And this is actually an industrial group out of uh, Houston. I didn't know that. It's 117 beats per minute. Really, really good one right there. Shock by The Hunger. All right. Back in the past, I heard the song called Bass, How Low Can You Go? And I thought it was Simon Harris, and it wasn't. It was Style Posse. We need some bass. How low can you go? Low, 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 low. Off a Wide Angle. Wide Angle has some really, really good songs on there. I like all their songs. Crew Lovin's on Wide Angle, and some other good ones on there, too. So, there it is. We Need Some Bass by Style Posse. That's a good one. And I showed this on my last video. Proxion by Space Warriors. Sean 0612 uh, named it for me when I named this ID. It's off of Ram's Horn. It's kind of a rare one. They only have one of them in the United States. Paid pretty good for it. Uh, phenomenal condition. Love the song. Love the dub mix on the back. Thinks about, about 115 beats per minute. Really good uh, Italo disco instrumental. Also another one I had, uh, Cling Clang. I used to thought it was by Kraftwerk when I went to LimeWire and I downloaded it and said Kraftwerk Cling Clang. It was actually camouflage and if you look on side B, it says Cling Clang right there. Kind of synth pop electro. Really good one right there. Okay, for the most expensive records I ever purchased, and I don't spend that much money on records, but when I see a really good deal, I gotta go for it. The most expensive record I ever paid for is Black Pearl. Don't Turn Away. This came out 87 off of Rude Records. A really rare one right here. I really love the song. Also, 1990 had a group called Beyond Control that came out with the same track. Very expensive record. Highly recommend it. It's very good. Love the beats in there. The female vocals. It is just spot on. Second most I ever paid was right here. My Hands Are Quicker Than The Eye by Byron Davis and the Fresh Crew. It's off of Players Only Records. Really good. Old school. 85. Scratching. The beats are good. The electro is phenomenal. Really love that song. Most expensive DJ Icy record I ever bought was this one right here. Low Down Good Girl off of Zone. This is actually uh, Zone number 10. This came out. 132 beats per minute. DJ Icy, really good song. The other song, the other side is All Beautiful. So if you can get this one pretty cheap, highly recommend it. Really, really good song. It's one of my top three DJ Icy songs of all time. Breakbeat Electro, this is Black Light, 
Electro City Incorporated. Highly sought after, very collectible, very unique song. There's actually four tracks on there. Every one of them is just off the hook. The beats are, are spot on. Uh, love to mix it. I think it's about 138 beats per minute. Electro City. Get this one. If uh, you're trying to beef up your uh, breakbeat collection, you must get this one. Late Great 88 Power Mix. This is Cameron's Pause. This is Mix It. This is CP22. It's a rare one indeed. Uh, the Freddy Fresh book gave this one three stars. It's a rare and sought after. And they got re three really good songs on there besides the Power Mix. They got the Street Beat Medley. And also got Wild Thing by Tone Low. Everything's good on here. Top to bottom, front to back. But that's it, my friends. I just wanted to share with you some of the music, recommendations, and those songs you've been looking for for many, many years. So I wish everybody good luck on your collection. Uh, try to get some good prices out there. And I'll see you next time.